Hi, Rich and Kathy here, and we are building an off-grid, earth-sheltered house here in the Adirondack Mountains. With the shotcrete scheduled for next week, we are literally down to the wire to be ready. We need to get 700 more feet of rebar installed on the back of the parapet walls, finish getting two layers of foam installed on the inside of the dome, and clean up the job site so the boom trucks can work around the dome. We've been putting in 10 hour days and the big question is, can we get it all done in the next seven days? All right, so the rebar guys are back. Today they're gonna work on the rest of that wall up there and put all the pieces of the rebar that have to go around and all the L's that have to sort of tie into it. Uh, they're getting busy. I bought this stuff on clearance at Home Depot. I thought maybe I could use it around some of the seams along the foundation. I don't know what... Just reminds me of that black tar stuff. I'm going to see how that dries up a little bit before I go crazy with it. That's so, the finished product? Uh, just without sandwich bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. It's just another row. Right here. Going across these every two foot. Okay. All the way around. And that should be good. Yep. And then that one's good. We're going to do that entryway <laughs> and that entryway tomorrow. Are you going to be able to get that Gatorade bottle out of there? <laughs> oh, yeah. If he wants it bad enough. Uh, oh boy. Push up. <laughs> Tied your bottle in there, huh? Uh, it was Ryan, blame him. It's almost there. I guess we could cement it in. Got it for safekeeping. But it looks really good. Nice. Oh yeah. Good job, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah. Good morning, it's another beautiful day here on the homestead. Rich and I are going to be working on foam today again, and the rebar guys should be here for day two of putting the rebar on the parapet walls. Hmm, go ahead, touch it. I'm not sure I want to. Well, well. Actually, that's nice, that's it good. It dried up good? Yeah. Awesome. Just enough for waterproofing, spray it up with the shotcrete. There was a lot of spots where the wood was still exposed, so we really wanted to make sure we had a tight seal here because the wood didn't exactly touch that metal. Right. And it was hard to get the felt in there with the U-bolts and whatnot. So this is going to make it more, what would you call it, waterproof? Yeah, yeah more I guess waterproof. So. One of the challenges building this house is knowing what to do and when and getting the people here at the right time. So you could look up the parapet wall and you see all those little silver J bolts we put in. They didn't exactly line up with the rebar the way they were supposed to, but we had a problem. The rebar guys couldn't come because they were on a different job last week, but the framers were here and the framers had to leave by Friday and we needed to have the framers sheath the front of the parapet walls. And those little J bolts had to go in before that. So needless to say, only a couple of them actually line up with where the rebar is. And we would have had a problem anyway because of where the studs are. We had to literally work around the studs. So it was really just super challenging. And the rebar guys, they're going to make them work. They're going to tie to them anyway with some extra rebar wire and whatnot. And the cement will still get into the J-bolt and it'll still help hold. But yeah, because that order of things um, got a little messed up, we didn't really have a choice. And it's the same with the electrician. The electrician came and in order to finish this part of his job, he had to put the grounding in. 
and we have an inspection this week, and that grounding now is kind of in the way of ladders and everything else to finish the foam. So that's one of the challenges is trying to figure out what to do and when, and you have to kind of work around everything. Not complaining, just stating a fact. So we did that arch over here by the entry door the other day, and we only did one layer of foam there. We still have to add a second layer, but we're gonna wait on that because the guys still have to put the rebar in on the parapet wall. So we're gonna work on this one today. That red tape holds really good. It's like industrial strength tape. Good morning. How you doing, guys? Hey, uh, Kat, this is Kathy's first time up in the up in the loft area of the bathroom. There she is. How's the weather up there, honey? The view is beautiful. I, I don't know about the weather, but the view is beautiful. morning on the homestead it's Wednesday and the rebar guys will be here for the third day in a row they're pretty much done with the rebar Rich and I are working on the foam and when the rebar guys get here they'll help us with the foam we're getting it done here's the red tape There you go, the whole roll. Nice. Beautiful, honey. One less thing to do. So right now, it's after dinner, and Rich and I are just gonna button up what we can reach on the lower part of all this foam because it can't have, you can't be able to push in anywhere and have any pressure or it will distort. So we're just gonna add some lath in. The guy's finished, semi-finished these areas. We're gonna button those up a little bit more tomorrow and put some tape on the outside and those will be good. And tomorrow's big goal is that whole section right there. When he pushes, it pushes in. And when we have the shotcrete sprayed from the outside with a lot of force and pressure, that's not good. So we are putting in extra lath tied with rebar wire and spacers anywhere that we think it might need it. So there's a wire. And I'll pull it all the way through. It's around the rebar on the outside. That's a vertical? You don't need any more wire, just those two pieces are good. All right, bang on, don't, don't snug them up too much, go ahead. All right, I'm just giving them a hand twist for now, okay? Yeah. And then I'll tighten them when you tell me. All right, tighten? Yep, a little bit. All right, I'm doing the bottom one first. Tell me when. You're there. You sure? Another half a twist. Yeah, 
there. Okay, going to the top one. Good? Yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's what we do. It's tedious, but it works. See, now when I push on it, it doesn't move. Yep, no, mo no movement at all. That's great. All right, that fixed it. a lot of red tape today. We're going to use a lot of red tape tomorrow and probably for the rest of the week. Today's another big day for us. Today's the last day of the guys helping us with the foam, getting it all hung up and making sure everything is buttoned up tight. And we have a building inspection. They did get a lot done yesterday though, inside the dome. And I'm just curious to see what it looks like now. I'm gonna go in the entry. Go for the big yeah, watch the entrance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, so we have this one little section left to still do today. We have all that up there to finish. Yeah. A lot more red tape. Yeah, a, lot of <laughs> a lot more lath. A lot more wire. We're literally, literally down to the wire now. Literally yeah. and figuratively down to the wire. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then all these sections here. We just have to go over and add a lot more lath and wire. We have to put some bracing in. And we're in good shape, I think. I think you're doing great. Look at that, it looks like a spider. <laughs> great use for the fishing magnet, cleaning up rebar tie wire around the job site. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Today is a beautiful day. Yeah. Yesterday we worked really hard at getting all of the foam in place with the wood lath. The U.S. steel workers, the guys that did the rebar, helped us with the foam and strapped down all the wood lath to support it. Yeah, that required the tie wire, right? A lot of tie wire. A lot of tie wire, a lot of foam, a lot of wood lath. A lot of red tape. <laughs> a lot of red tape. <laughs> so today we're just going to go through the pre shockcrete checklist and go over all the little odds and ends that need to be in place and perfect. So we'll see. Are we ready? Are we ready for shockcrete? We're going to be ready. 
So nothing to it but to do it. Let's go. Let's go check it out. And there's the sun rising. Beautiful. And there's our amazing dome home, which I just cannot believe personally what we've managed to accomplish this year so far. You know, you think you can do it and then you doubt yourself and then you think you could do it and then you doubt yourself. <laughs> piece by piece. Stress, sure. anxiety. But yeah, we just took baby steps and every day we just said, okay, today we're doing this. And we got it done. We got it done. Let's go take a look inside at what it looks like now that the entire dome is covered in foam. <laughs> Looks pretty good. So Rich and I just have to go around the outside now and push on the foam and make sure there's no weak spots. We have a, a little bit more lath to put in in this area right here right. and in the entry. And some more tape to add. <laughs> biggest piece of red tape yet that I've attempt that I'm gonna attempt to accomplish on this job <laughs> without having it stick to itself, <sighs> stick to the foam, or stick to the rebar and be able to place it carefully. You get good at it though, right? We've used so much of it. I've become the uh, master in tapeology. And jiggerology. Jiggery. <laughs> Jiggery and tapeology. To be honest, it wasn't fun getting foam on the dome. It was more and more difficult the higher we got, so everyone worked in pairs because it required one person on the inside and one person on the outside. When we reached those higher parts of the dome, it was easier for me to work from the ground. The guys would stay up high and I would cut and deliver tie wire, hand them lath, foam boards, drinks, and when I wasn't needed, I would clean up all the scraps that fell to the ground. We had a really good system going and we did a great job. We got it done. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that red tape because boy oh boy, that was a lifesaver. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video, Shotcrete on the Dome.